Hello and welcome back to the channel. Brandon Davidson and I am the owner of Davidson Audio, where we specialize solely in the Indian motorcycle audio solutions for the riders. And in today's video, I'm gonna switch it up because we ordered some Condor wheel chocks, one for each shop bike. And we also got some other goodies with these as well from the folks over at Condor. And first I'd like to disclose no sponsorship here. I called them, I purchased these as a customer. No ask or expectation of a video. I just wanted to do this because I know some of the searching I've done for wheel chalks, I didn't find very many good videos. And I'd like to do a video for you all specifically for the Indian Challenger and Chieftain. So, damn fly. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please stick through the whole video and let's go get these things unboxed and the bikes put on these stands. All right, so we placed our order with Condor and we got three boxes. This top box, this is just gonna be some goodies that we got with them. And then obviously the two motorcycle wheel chalk stands are below so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna set aside the wheel chocks and let's go ahead and open up this box and see what's inside of it so in that first small box they did hook us up with a set of ratchet straps that they offer these are one and a half inch ratchet straps they yeah i mean they look pretty thick, well stitched. Um, we're gonna use these as some backup straps. I did buy some really nice two sets of straps from Mac Tie Downs. Love that company, make a high quality strap. I think in a later video, maybe going over how to strap your bike down, I will do a video on those as well. So let's set these aside. And this right here is going to be the standard wheel chalk. I'm pretty sure that's the right word for it. Correction. This is the standard size wheel cradle, tire cradle, wheel tire cradle, something like that. Um, the reason I got one of these is because on these particular models, we went with the 180 cradle because as you saw in the last video or two, we finally picked up our wheels and the front tire on our Chieftain is now 180. So we wanted to go with the proper cradles for that and down the road the Challenger will be getting the same exact setup. So we wanted to plan for that. So for right now, I just needed one standard that will fit the Challenger wheel. So let's go ahead and set this aside. I'll reposition these boxes so we can go over what models these are exactly. And we'll go ahead and unbox them. <coughs> So the wheel chalks we ordered, these are their chopper chalks. The reason we went with these ones is because of the wraparound fenders we are doing on the Indians. We wanted to make sure that the fender did not contact the wheel chalk. So after contacting Condor, which they have great customer service over there, give them a call, they'll answer any questions you have and set you with the exact cradle that you need and the wheel chalk for your situation. Uh, we did get the chopper chalk the 180 setup so this is going to be a chck-1500-180 and this will fit our needs perfectly there are some other advantages to the chopper chalk let's flip this around and go over that so the chopper chalk comes with the boomerang bar which is should be going in the back and I'm not 100% sure until we open these up, but I'm pretty sure they said it also comes with a trailer adapter kit. Um, so I'm really excited to get these opened up and see one, what it takes to put them together, and two, just how the bikes fit on these. I've heard nothing but raging reviews on these with everybody from dealership owners to personal owners that say they love these, they're solid, they hold the bike good. So. Right. 
So, it appears that they come pretty well assembled already out of the box. So, one thing they do send is a important please read document. So, one, say carefully removing your condor wheel chalk from the box, cut the zip tie strap here. So let's cotter pin clip from the cradle pin, sliding pin completely out of the unit. Okay, comes with a bunch of instructions. Y'all can read them for yourselves. Um, let's go ahead and get this open on up. Oh, okay. Here's that thick boomerang plate that they were talking about in the, um, that I was telling you about just a minute ago. That comes with the chopper chalk, so that's gonna go all the way back here. Uh, the chopper chalk does come with the trailer mounting kit. It's like it bolts in right here. Yep. Well, we'll do a video on these. Just go ahead and do it now, so. So really it looks like the only assembly we have is a boomerang bar and the front support bar. Um, the bars themselves have threaded holes in them. So does this one right here and here. And two holes up here. So let's go ahead and get those in real quick. They supply a packet of information with the Allen key and the screws already. Nice little Ziploc bags. So that way you don't have to worry about cutting them open. So, we're gonna grab some red uh, Loctite so we can just go Loctite these in. So let's go ahead and do that. So, as far as the assembly process for the Condor Chopper Chalk, this is also the pit trailer stop with the chopper setup, which the only difference as far as my knowledge is concerned is that the chopper chalk has a different uh, cradle and comes with this uh, wing support, which I really like that because now we have a wider footprint in the rear and in the front, which is really gonna make this chalk extremely stable. Came in the box is gonna be for the chopper chalk, obviously is the front uh, horizontal support brace, the rear back, wing support brace, whatever you want to call it, the wheel chalk, the cradle itself, the front uh, stop or cradle. And this one came with the trailer kit. Documentation, I'm guessing there's a warranty card in here and some other information. Some instructions, obviously came well uh, packaged. And as you saw the assembly process was ridiculously simple. It's four bolts, pull the pin, put this up, and you're good to go. As far as adjustments concerned right out of the box, you have two, four, six, eight, nine holes here, which will move the tire cradle back and forth. As far as the front cradle is concerned, there's two bolts that hold it in place and there's four bolts total. So it should really give you three positions of adjustment. You can bring it down middle or up and it looks like they already put loctite on that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna once we get the other one assembled we're gonna bring the bike in test fit it back and forth see where we want it and really check on both bikes how sturdy this is but let's unbox the trailer adapter kit in case you have a trailer like i do and see just what's all entailed with this kit Oh, again, we've got some hardware here. Have uh, the actual plate itself, and we got instructions. So let's see what they say. Okay, simple, simple install here. So they give you these two beveled machine screws. You're gonna drop down in here, and you're gonna bolt these. Obviously, using you can use the flat washers to give you more with these nylon lock nuts on each end, that's gonna bolt this down to the trailer, which you're gonna want it in this orientation. Because what happens is these two Allen screws that have a collar on them are gonna get bolted to the bottom here. There's two holes here. These are gonna get bolted from the bottom. 
So what happens is when you bring this chalk in, it's gonna come in, both of these are gonna rest here, and you might be thinking, well, then it can just move back and forth. Well, Condor thought of an easy solution. It provides you with this wing nut right here, and there's a collared hole, or a non-threaded hole in the middle here, so that will drop in. You'll hand tighten that, and now you've got three points of contact to hold this to the floor. So let's go ahead and just do a quick little um, test on here. We're not gonna tighten this down all the way just yet. Actually, I'll lie, we're gonna go ahead and put these on now because it clears the floor. Here are the two threaded holes with the non-threaded. So again, just gonna throw some uh, red Loctite on here. As simple as that, we've installed the needed parts on the actual wheel chalk itself. So I'm gonna demonstrate it from obviously the bottom side first so you can see how it works. And then we'll flip it over and show you how it would look if you're actually putting it in the trailer. So obviously this is going to be installed in your trailer. So what you're gonna do is when this is on the floor, you're gonna put it here. You're gonna slide the wheel chalk forward, which will then line up the threaded hole with the non-threaded hole for your wing bolt here. You simply put it in here. And just like that, that plate's not going anywhere. It doesn't have any side to side motion. It's locked right in there. So again, these two bolts will be bolted into your trailer. So then that center pole hole will hold this on here and give you a nice solid um, mounting point for the front of your bike. So let's flip it over, do the same process so you can see it from the top side, and then we'll go and get the other one installed or together. So again, that plate would be stationary on your trailer. So you would just bring this in, find it, scoot it forward, drop this wing nut in there, boom, just like that, you're done. I'm actually gonna leave this on here because I'm curious to see how the tire clears this. I'm guessing the bottom of it should be here and will come up and get clearance. And also I just don't wanna lose it. So we're gonna leave that on there for test fitment. And then um, in a later video, we'll actually put this in the trailer and show you guys and ladies in and out of the trailer with this in here. So let's get this out of the way, get that one over here, get it assembled, and then we'll put the bikes in them. And just like that, both of our Condor chalks are assembled. One thing I do really, really, really appreciate from manufacturers is when they give you the hardware to install it and it's the same tool to install everything. All you need is the 3 16 they supply you, or I like to use a T-handle to get some more torque on it. But all six bolts that you needed to install the bolt, the little bat wing chopper, support here in the front and even the trailer adapter plate all use the same allen i really appreciate that it makes my life way easier so that being said we're gonna position these in the garage we're gonna bring the chieftain and challenger in here um and get them put on here but first now that i remember let's get this swapped out for the challenger and then we'll bring the chieftain wheel in here and show you that on that one and just see how sturdy we feel like these are and how easy it is to get the bike in and out. To change the cradles in these or the positions, super simple, pull the cotter pin, pull the pin out, it's got a ring on one side, simply pick up, set it aside, and real quick, as you can tell, the cradles are much, much, much smaller. This one is way smaller than this one, you can see how it accepts a much larger tire. And I guess the new one comes with an extra pin, so let's just slide this pin in here.
This was set in the second hole, so we're just gonna put it back in that one, so set it down. cotter pattern back in and you're good to go. So when you go to put your bike on here, you're going to leave it in this position because you're literally going to ride on it. It's going to hit this. Lift up just a little bit and put it right on in here. Um, so let's set these up. We'll pull the Challenger in on one and we'll put the Chieftain wheel on the other one and see if we need to make any adjustments. just like that we've walked you through the process of one buying the products and unboxing them showed you just how easy it was to assemble these wheel chalks along with what came in the box and even assembling the little trailer plate adapter in a future video we'll go ahead and figure out where in our trailer we're going to put these two bikes put those plates in there lock them down and just see how secure they are We'll probably throw a GoPro in the trailer and take them around for a loop and just see how sturdy they are. And then we also showed you kind of a little bit of trial and error of getting both the Chieftain and the Challenger on the wheel chalks as far as adjusting them. And one of the big difficulties, which I'll get into my pros and cons of these right now. So first, the pro I think is these things are super, super sturdy once the bike is put in them. As you can see behind me, I am rocking it right now and it's moving, but it's not gonna fall out. As you saw in the video, I also sat on the bike, rocked it back and forth, tried moving the bars, took my hands off the bike, rocked it back and forth, and the bike was solidly planted. I have no concern of these bikes falling out of these things or getting on and off of them of the bike coming undone. And I guess second, pro that I like about these is the build quality. The build quality is phenomenal. No questions there. The brackets that aren't aluminum have a nice black textured powder coat on them. And then my third uh, pro would be ease of assembly. I mean, it could not have been easier than six screws that were 3 16 Allen, I do believe. Throw that in there, and not only have you assembled the wheel chalk, but you've also assembled the two needed studs for the trailer adapter kit. Now let's get over to the cons. And this one, for some people like myself, isn't really a con, but 
First was the price. They are pretty hefty in price, but I also believe that with price you get quality. So for me, I feel like it's more so not a con because, or a negative, sorry, because I feel like I got what I paid for. I paid more for these wheel chalks and I feel like I got a solid wheel chalk. My, the second con or negative to these would have to be with the little bat wing, the little black second adapter on there, it takes the grip part off of these. So on the front here, you can see they have these little rubber grips. And in the back, they have them on the aluminum as well, but the little black bat wing stabilizer thing doesn't. So as you saw in the video, I had an issue with sliding. So when I went to put the bike in there, the wheel chalk slid on the floor and it made it difficult to get the bike in the chalk and get the bike off the chalk. So easiest solution if you have a finished concrete floor like this one, which is epoxy, or you just have a super nice sealed concrete garage you're putting these in, grab you a nice little, this is one of the interior exterior floor mats. You can get them at like Sam's Club, Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere that would sell those. It's got some grip on the bottom. It still bunches up a little bit, but it helps plant this wheel chalk on the floor or the, you know, the concrete floor and made it easier to get the bike in and out. Um, what I plan on doing in the future is on the bottom side of these, I am probably going to, especially the black piece, I'm going to put some rubber on there and I'll probably do the same to match up here so that they're even and see if that helps. In a future video, I will do a long-term uh, review video of these and see if that really helps. So wrapping all this up, I am extremely happy with these wheel chocks. Um, I think they're going to come to great use for the trailer and in the garage and future down in the showroom when we move locations into an actual nice facility. And it's going to provide a lot of stability and security for these. Like I said, you can see behind me rocking the crap out of the bike. Solid. Um, the wheel chalk behind us has the standard wheel crate or tire cradle here. And over here, you can see this is our 2155 wheel. So it's 21 inches in diameter, five and a half inches wide with a 180 tire. So we have the 180 tire cradle here. Um, no doubt here again, super solid, holds the tire in place, easy to get in and out. And in the previous video, you already know this is our SMT machining complete wheel assembly and their PS8 and our atomic black powder coat and that is to match the bike. So I know that was a long-winded apologies sometimes I get talking and just da, 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 da. so thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you decide if you're in the market for a wheel chalk and you looked at the Condors, or you've looked at similar ones, such as like Harbor Freight has one. There's some other ones kind of meant for sports bikes. I've had the Harbor Freight ones in the past, was not happy with them. They're very cheap because you don't pay much for them. In my personal opinion, I love these. I would buy these again, which in the future, I'm sure I will when I collect more Indians. And I would definitely recommend these over them. Again, this is not a paid video. I bought these full retail. And for this reason and one, I wanted a quality chalk, both in the trailer and out of the trailer in the shop. So that's it. Brandon Davidson with Davidson Audio. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, share, subscribe, help us grow to that 500. We're so close right now. I think we're just over 100. So let's please hit that, crush that goal so I can give away a free headlight. And again, at a thousand subscribers, I'm giving away a Braille Lithium G14 LS with the battery charger combo, which retails for $575 to a lucky subscriber once we hit 1,000 subscriptions. So please, let's hit those milestones. Let's get some free stuff out there so we can continue getting content rolled out there and give away bigger and bigger things as we grow. So again, thank you, thank you very much. Brandon Davidson with Davidson Audio, and we're out.